Hey you guys, what is up? So this is Coach Jacob. It's been a while and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be talking about obesity and diabetes. I would just like to thank our video partner, Wise Choice Supplements. So if you're guessing that Wise Choice Supplements supplies supplements, then you're right. And if you're looking for a legit supplement source, all kinds of supplements, free delivery within the college city check them out link is in the description box below so let's get into the video guys okay so back to the topic obesity and diabetes all right so by the end of this module or video because i'm planning to make this a module guys for you to help you with your um uh, fitness journey so by the end of this module you will know all about what obesity is, what diabetes is, about the link between diabetes and obesity, and how this is best treated. So the link between obesity and diabetes, it's been observed that there is a close connection between obesity and type 2 diabetes. Uh, so if you guys would notice today, uh, in this generation or in this time that we're living, we are eating crap. We are eating non-supplemental uh, foods that will help our body. So our diet today is rich in all kinds of wrong kinds of food, which is causing us to put on weight and the contract lifestyle diseases like diabetes. Though both diabetes and obesity is um, associated with race, uh, genetics, family history, the age and the surge in the number of cases is because of our changing lifestyles. So we might be busy with work, school, or whatever it is that you're busy with. I know a lot of businessmen that has been suffering from these types of diseases. So guys, please be careful with what you eat. I know you guys have like a lot of money, but make sure that you put in the work and uh, the time to take care of your health as well, not only your wealth. Because guys, let's be honest, if you're not taking care of your health, how will you be making wealth? Hustle high, uh, <laughs> hustle hard mindset, guys. So the sedentary lifestyle coupled with, coupled with energy rich foods or um those energy drinks that can spike up your insulin levels is really not great. So food that is loaded with fat, carbohydrates, is creating fat people who are high risk of diabetes and other related diseases suffer much more worse. So let us first study the two problems separately and then find out why they are linked to each other. So obesity. What is obesity? So we would be picturing a really fat person or someone who is extremely overweight considered. Uh, so they are considered to be obese people. He or she is suffering from obesity. It is a condition in which um, could be caused by medical problems or eating too much where a person puts on a large amount of weight, which can be caused by negative effects on a person's health. So there's really this effect that when you are overweight, when you have like a lot of weight hanging around your body, it causes you to like suffer in your daily activities, even just walking or going up the stairs. So a person who has a weight that is 20% higher than their ideal uh, ideal weight is already considered obese. So obesity is measured by BMI and also through the ratio of measurement of waist to hip ratio, there is a close connection of BMI percentage body fat as well as their total body fat. All right, so we will be getting into your BMI. So what is BMI? I'm really sweating because it's really hot. I can't put on like the AC or the fan because it's really annoying when you play the video. So 
like, share, and subscribe, guys. This is a lot of effort. <laughs> this is like doing a video in a sauna. Trust me, it's really hot in the Philippines right now. Okay. So, BMI. BMI is a system of uh, deriving measurement of the body weight where the person's weight is divided by the square of his or her height. So it's height and weight equals the BMI to kilograms, the measurement. If the BMI is under 18.5, the person is considered underweight. And this comes with its own set of problems. A BMI between 18.5 and 25 is considered normal weight. A person with a BMI that is in between 25 and 29.5 is considered to be overweight. So take note of that. If the BMI is over 30, then the person is considered as obese and needs to lose weight and maintain a healthy lifestyle. That's why Fit by the Fork is here. We are here to help you guys. So this is all free of charge. All we ask from you is to like, share, and subscribe if this helps you guys and if the information is considered valuable and worth of sharing. So the classification of obesity can be classified into five categories based on the measurement of their BMI. What? So here are the following. A person with a BMI over 30 is obese. Any person with a BMI of between 30 and 35 has what it is termed as a class 1 obesity. So 30 and above is called is considered obese. And then 30 to 35 is what you call a class 1 obesity. All right, this is considered a borderline obesity. A BMI of 35 and 40 is considered a severe obesity and is classified as class 2 obesity. A BMI of over 40 is considered as class 3 obesity. This is super obesity. All right, that's very dangerous. Super obesity. Could you fly being obese? All right. Back to the video. Okay, so a BMI over 40, yeah. A person who has a BMI of 35 and 45 and is experiencing health problems related to obesity is suffering from morbid obesity. So this is much more dangerous, guys. So please take note of whatever I'm saying right now because this will help you guys, all right? So obesity and health. Obesity can be caused of several diseases, including type 2 diabetes, heart disease, uh, sleep apnea, uh, osteoper osteo osteoarthritis, and certain kinds of cancers. Obese. Uh, people experience hyperventilation, uh, which can be experienced by um, people that are overweight, that you get like this very, very hard uh, time breathing. So I know that a lot of people have been suffering from that. Even me have experienced that. Um, I was 250. So from 100 and... So let me tell you backstory. Um, I was preparing for Mr. Philippines. So, um, from a hundred and 180, I dropped to like 160. Then uh, I got really sick on prep and it was like a week uh, before competition or like a few days before competition. And then, um, I stopped training, right? And then I got a bit depressed because I didn't get to compete. What happened was I got this rebound. So when I got the rebound, I gained like almost uh, 90 or 100 pounds. So from 160, I was like at 250 
and 260 pounds. So I was having like this hard time sleeping. Um, it was hard because when you're lying down and then you're really heavy, uh, you would experience like you're drowning. Then when you're going up the stairs, it will be really hard when you're heavy, especially when you're not doing any exercise. So walking up the stairs felt like I was running. So that's how hard it was. I don't know who's experiencing this, but if you ever did or ever is experiencing this, comment down below and we'll be happy and we will be happy to um, help you with that. So you can contact us on our Instagram. So obesity is related to more mortality and it is leading to preventable cause of premature death in the world. So a lot of us may know a lot of people dying from being obese, right? So let's just be honest, okay? I'm not telling this to put other people down, especially overweight people. I'm putting this video out to help, okay? So this is not to insult or to hurt anyone's feelings. This is to help you guys. And again, if you really need help, just comment down below and then, or just click on the description box. We'll be sending you the link to our Facebook page and to our Instagram account. So obesity can also cause poor health. Obesity causes several uh, diseases and it is uh, uh, the Okay, so I just know someone that has passed away from being obese, uh, I just remember. And this includes both mental and physical health deterioration. So the causes of obesity. The leading cause of obesity is pretty clear to anyone. Too many calories consumed and too many calories are not burnt out. So I believe in this term called calories in, calories out. So really, we really, really, really have to practice that. And calories in, calories out, and you should always be on a deficit. All right? So in most cases, people eat way too much of rich and high calorie food and do not have enough physical exercise to burn out all of the fats and calories consumed. So the excess calories are converted into fat and stored into the adipose tissues of the body to be used as an emergency. So the excess calories are converted into fat and stored into the adipose tissues of the body to be used in an emergency such as extreme physical activity or starvation. So the causes of obesity are poor diet, uh, calorie and fat rich food that cannot be fully utilized by the body can lead to obesity. So in my personal day to day, um, routine, I make sure that I do not eat more than I can burn because I have been in a position or a place that I was eating more than I could burn like in a day. I would eat too much and then just watch TV or just do nothing the whole day, play video games. Especially when I was working before, uh, I used to work online. Um, so my shift would be at like 12 a.m. because I was working uh, online for a um, company at the States. So I'm here at the Philippines. So what happens is you just eat and eat and eat. And you're not monitoring what you're eating anymore. So it cost me like to be fat and all those unhappy stuff. So the sedentary lifestyle just... Like what I mentioned, doing nothing the whole day, just sitting down, uh, laying down, just playing video games and watching TV. If you're watching YouTube, start walking around your house while watching this video. 
sedentary lifestyle, we do not expect ourselves to be physically, we do not exert ourselves physically. So we have cars, we have other mechanical aids to make, make our lives much more or less, uh, less physically active than before. If you noticed before, people used to walk a lot. They used bicycles, they used to like travel many miles just to go to another place. Now, you know, everything is just so easy. So this also causes, uh, I mean, obesity is also caused by insufficient sleep. So if you're staying up late doing whatever you are doing, maybe playing video games or whatever, I'm not saying that video games are bad. What I'm saying is maybe what you're doing is affecting your health. So insufficient sleep causes obesity and has been linked with lack of proper sleep. Insufficient sleep is stressful and can cause obesity, obesity and overeating. Endocrine inhibitors. These can be caused by, among other things, population and causes a disruption in the metabolism of fat in the body. So temperature controlled environment, we live in air conditioned and climate controlled environment and do not have to suffer through the changes of temperature. Our lack of ventilation to temperatures has made our body slow down in burning calories. So if you know about thermodynamics, Thermo thermodynamics or uh, thermogenesis helps us with the temperature in the body and thermodynamics also helps us with, you know, the burning of the fat in the body. Yes, so less smoking. Smoking is known to suppress appetite. With more than people giving up smoking, the problem of weight gain is becoming more evident. The use of medicines, a relationship has been established between increased use of certain types of medicines and obesity. All right, so there are just so many medicines right now in the market that is causing people, you know, they tell people that, um, okay, let's just put it this way. Too much of something that is really good can be also bad so some of us are taking too much medicine like we are not even doing something about it like let's say you have asthma so what do you do when you have asthma you become active you try to become active because if not you're going to be suffering from asthma all your life for you guys to know i grew up being an asthmatic and then if my mom would tell me the story of me uh, being asthmatic, uh, I mean, having an, uh, having an asthma attack, it would be me, like, dying. I would be coughing and wheezing the whole night. And, you know, if I was you and you're suffering from any heart disease, asthma, obesity, just try to do something about it. Just you know, try to be more active. As I've said in my Instagram stories, a walk outside your house or walking up and down the stairs can do a really great difference. So back to the topic. Of course, we're still in the topic. Genetics. Some people just, you know, have really bad genetics. And the race are also responsible of obesity. Certain racial groups are geneti genetically prone to obesity, which passes through the generations. All right. So if you have like family or grandparents are obese, uh, most likely you're prone. If you're in the third generation, you're prone to be obese. So do something about it. Um, late pregnancies. Children born of mothers who are older are more sus susceptible to becoming obese, all right? So medical conditions. Certain 
physical and mental diseases as well as medications to treat them can cause obesity and certain infections can also cause obesity. Though there is evidence suggesting that these factors influence body weight, a lot of more studies needs to be done before any substantive claim can be made. Looking at the factors above, uh, it is pretty clear that obesity is becoming a global problem and most of it's lifestyle related. Diabetes and scientific, uh, the scientific term for diabetes is mellitus, but is commonly known as diabetes. Oh man, it is really hot. Again, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> All right. It is metabolic. It is a metabolic disorder where the blood sugar levels remain high and prolonged in a period of time. If blood sugar levels remain elevated for long, it can be called it can cause many health problems such as diabetic coma or heart problems, kidney failure, and a host to other diseases. So many of us are suffering from this. I just paused there so that you can think about it. You see me sweating here? <laughs> So diabetes is a complex health condition which can have a variety of causes. People who suffer from hyper, hyperglycemia are said to be diabetic and it is also a diabetic or a metabolic disorder which is related to the way food is being broke down and absorbed as nutrition and energy to our bodies. Insulin, which is a hormone produced in the pancreas, is required to synthesize the glucose and convert it into energy. When the body is not able to produce enough insulin or unable to utilize it properly, then the glucose in the blood is not converted into energy and it causes diabetes. Okay? So the reasons for types of diabetes, diabetes is caused by two conditions. It's either the pancreas cannot produce enough insulin or the cells in the body do not respond to the insulin. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to be putting this down or uh, maybe a, you could download the PDF, uh, which I typed down. If you would like to download it, it's in the description box below. All right, there are many types of diabetes, but the two common causes and types are type one diabetes. This is caused when the body is unable to produce enough insulin to synthesize all the glucose in the body. This was earlier referred to as insulin dependent diabetes or the juvenile diabetes. The cause of type 1 diabetes is generally concerned with genes and your ethnicity. Ethnicity. <laughs> All right. So let's just stick to race. Type 2. This is caused by the blood developing resistance to insulin and its inability to respond to resistance to insulin and its inability to respond to the hormone properly. This was previously referred to as non-insulin dependent diabetes or adult onset, onset diabetes. The cause of this type of diabetes is generally sed um, sedentary lifestyle and weight. Okay. When there is a uh, diabetes that's developed only during pregnancy. Symptoms of diabetes include uh, excessive urination, weight loss, excessive thirst, blurry vision, headache, fatigue, longer healing time of wounds, sores, itchy dry skin, uh, eye and vision problems. If a person has 
any of these problems, then he or she must have a blood test done to de determine whether they suffer from diabetes or not. The causes of type 1 diabetes, it is caused by the destruction of the insulin producing beta cells in the pancreas. Type 1 diabetes is one of the most, uh, I mean, one of the many autoimmune diseases in which the body's immune system starts attacking healthy cells of the body. This destruction can continue for several years before symptoms appear. But once the symptoms are manifested, it develops a pretty quickly, it develops pretty quick, quickly. This, uh, this type of diabetes is observed mostly in children and young adults. All right. But it can also manifest, manifest itself later in life too. Type 1 diabetes has a lot to do with genetics. Again, with genetics. And the gene is also passed from parents to children. It is also believed that food, uh, pollutants, toxins, viruses may also have an influence to onset the type 2 diabetes. So the causes of type 2 diabetes, this is one of the most common diabetes. So it is caused by a number of factors. The major cause uh, that the body becomes insulin resistant. The cells of the body do not synthesize the insulin properly and raises the level of blood sugar in the body. The body, uh, over a period of time, stops producing enough insulin to the body and the symptoms of diabetes appear. Uh, appear. The type 2 diabetes develops slowly over the years and can remain undetected for a long time. This type of diabetes affects older people and middle-aged people, especially if these people are obese and overweight. So type 2 diabetes, um, type 2 diabetes used to be very rare in young children or younger people, but the trend is changing now and can be also observed in obese children and young adults. So kids can also be prone to this. So if you have parents watching this video, please do not let your children just play video games and watch TV the whole day. Their bodies are made to run and play outside or play basketball or run or whatever. Play wrestling with them. Have fun with your kids. All right? So the causes can be listed as follows. Genetic um, propensity. Yeah. <laughs> Genes have an important influence on the body of type 2 diabetes. Certain racial and ethnic groups are more uh, disposed to it than other. Hispanics, African Americans, Indians, and other ethnic groups that are more inclined to develop di type 2 diabetes than others. Obesity and lack of exercise. Um, so we will study this in more detail later in this video. So let us uh, suffice by saying that there is a direct link between diabetes and obesity. So obesity is caused by too much to eat and less little exercise, and so is diabetes. So insulin resistance, we already discussed that, but again, insulin resistance, this is the problem uh, that is observed in overweight and obese people who are not very physically active. The muscles and the liver cells and the fat cells stop responding to the insulin in a proper manner. Too much glucose production in the liver 
Sometimes the liver does not function properly and produces too much glucose. The liver does not function well uh, so that it produces too much glucose, which the body cannot synthesize properly. Other causes uh, can be beta cells dysfunction, beta cells dysfunction, problem with the cell signaling the regulation. Type 2 diabetes factors, people who are most at risk of diabetes come from the following profile, okay? Take note, overweight and obese, middleweight and aged people, aged from 45 above, a sedentary lifestyle, family history, and diabetes. Uh... So, women who have delivered babies are over 9 pounds, that are over 9 pounds in weight. Women who have suffered from um, gestational diabetes, high blood pressure, lipid profile, low HDL and LDL, good cholesterol and bad cholesterol ratio, women suffering from polycystic ovary syndrome, people suffering from cardiovascular diseases. So I'm just going to give you a fact. There are 29.1 million people who have been di diagnosed with diabetes in the USA. So the relationship between diabetes and obesity obesity <laughs> it's really hot Whew. am I like oh again guys sweating doesn't always mean you are burning fat take note of that okay although there are a lot of factors that are that determine the onset of diabetes and obesity which include the race age and the ethnic race that they came from, it is becoming more increasingly clear to researchers that modern sanitary lifestyle or living is the biggest contributor to the increase of uh, incidences of diabetes and recent decades. It is well known or a well known fact that overly rich food and little physical activity is leading the cause of obesity. But we do not wonder whether obesity actually contributes to diabetes. What has been observed in that major uh, majority of people who have been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes are also overweight or obese. This figures the support of the theory that obesity and diabetes are uh, unrelated or even codependent. The factors that cause the onset of, di onset of diabetes are similar to the ones that causes um, obesity. Though the relationship between the, uh, the two diseases is clear, what is not clear is how this happens. The scientists believe that the body produces enough insulin in the obese people, but these tissue cells in the body are too stressed out to synthesize the insulin. It has been observed that um, endoplasmic, endoplasmic and reticulum, uh, when it is under stress, suppresses signals from the insulin receptors thus making the cells resistant to insulin. When this condition exists over a period of time, it impairs the ability of the pancreas to produce insulin and causes type 2 diabetes. Our bodies inhibit. Um, our bodies have inbuilt responses to condition over uh, nourishment as well as um, undernourishment. So when we are when we overeat, 
our body is flushed with excessive amounts of nutrients nutrients which need which is needed by the body so this has to be processed as energy and some are being processed as nourishments to the body so this makes the digestive system go into overdrive the system overloads on nutrients and it sends out distress signals to control the amount of insulin released the insulin receptors are damped uh, dampened to prevent too much synthesis of nutrients this is the emergency measure that the body possesses to prevent overload of nutrients or nutrition in the new in normal humans in obese people the body is constantly overloaded and what is an emergency measure comes from the normal and becomes the normal and triggers the insulin receptors to become permanently permanently uh, dampened the body becomes insulin resistant and stops producing enough insulin causing type 2 diabetes that was a mouthful just go over the video if I said too much and that if you didn't catch up just review the video and again I'll be posting the link to the download of this PDF um, named uh, obesity and diabetes um, module by fit by the fork so the treatment of diabetes and obesity it's important to prevent the control and the rate of growth of obesity and diabetes nowadays the best way to control the growth is to take preventive measures one of the best ways to treat both uh, obesity and diabetes is through physical activity exercise uh, do sports again do walking uh, go up and down the stairs uh, since both obesity and diabetes have been found to respond well to exercise this is then the best way to prevent as well as to control the two diseases new studies and research suggest that the effect of exercise in control of the amount of glucose presented in the body or in the blood is pretty significant in clinical studies a large group suggests that lifestyle changes like dieting and exercise have beneficial effects on people with insulin resistance since diet and exercise also help in reducing weight it also helps us to reduce the level of stress on the muscles and tissues and helps to combat insulin resistance other treatments uh, for diabetes include oral and injected medicine for obesity the treatment could be uh, could include oral medication injections and most severe of all the bariatric surgery you as a physical trainer that's me as a physical trainer I have to ensure that your exercise regimen for your uh for you is based for your body type and needs so guys if you are looking into uh, having a personal trainer that cares on what your body type is or what your specific needs is or are for your body please contact me um send me a message at fit by the fork again um thank you Wise Choice Supplements um, for partnering with me on this video. Again, guys, if you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell button. It's very free. I would also like to thank um, uh, I would like to thank everyone that subscribed to the channel. It's only been like a month and two weeks. We're already at 1,200 plus subscribers, which means a lot to us. 
and we're almost hitting monetization so guys please finish this video <laughs> share it with your friends or your family so I'll just summarize everything so why is um, diabetes and uh, obesity linked the dysfunction of uh, the definition of being obese how obesity affects your health what causes obesity um, about the symptoms and treatment of diabetes so if you like this comment down below or send us a tweet at twitter at fit by the fork of two or just simply share this to your facebook and you know all those fun stuff again guys i really appreciate you if you finish this video and you're still here after 40 minutes of me talking about this specific topic guys i really appreciate it um god bless everyone and again just a reminder guys please do stay safe and while you're at home try not just to sit around try to do something um make yourself stronger while you're at home and always believe in yourself if you like this tank top please do check out wise choice supplements and um also they have free delivery around Bacal city and also check out their website for their updates in whatever services they offer so guys again this is coach jacob from fit by the fork and on behalf of coach monique chef monique we would also like to help you with your diet. So send us a message. We appreciate you guys. We love you. See you on the next video.